Although, if you want to turn around, you've got a very, very tight turning radius on the ground. That's correct. If you look at the distance between the rear bogies and the nose wheel, that is very close. So we are able to turn this aircraft around in a 90-foot runway. Wow. And here at uh, Andrews, it's probably, I think it's... Uh, 150 feet 150. wide. 150. So easy to turn around, but you don't have to. The loadmaster's back there. He's Jet doing engine. his own backup cam, and it sounds... Jet con. <laughs> don't we wish. <laughs> he will actually open the door at times to guide it backwards. First flown on September 15th of 1991. About how many are in service, Andy? I believe it's over 200. Wow. Canada is now using them, Australia is using them. <laughs> now he's going to use the forward thrust to stop the aircraft, to prepare for the aircraft for takeoff. I want you to also notice the short field takeoff capability of it. Now you said right. it weighs maximum 585. It's probably, what, 300 something thousand as she said? Just slightly over 300,000 pounds right now. After this air show, they're actually going to continue over to the Dover Air uh, Speedway for a flyby of the race there this wow. weekend. Wow, so look at that. And it's just not noisy at all. Now you look at that tail, it's 55 feet from the ground to the tail. Five stories tall, yes sir. You can actually put a man up in a tail in that tunnel in that tail. Look at that. Sorry. And so very quiet. Very. Wow, that's pretty cool. So all the maneuvers you've seen here today are maneuvers that every pilot is trained to, from the assault to the air refueling that will provide uh, extended range capabilities to provide global reach through the, uh, through the entire world. So that concludes our capabilities demonstration for today. On behalf of the 436th Airlift 